वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन आईसीएच गाइडलाइन क्यू टू विच इज फॉर वैलिडेशन ऑफ द एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर्स दिस गाइडलाइन प्रोवाइड्स गाइडेंस ऑन एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर वैलिडेशन फॉर द फार्मास्यूटिकल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द आईसीएच क्यू टू गाइडलाइन द पर्पज और ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस गाइडलाइन इज टू इंश्योर द एनालिटिकल मेथड्स are properly validated and thereby the analytical methods are reliable precise and accurate significance of the validation for analytical procedures involves the consistent quality and safety for the pharmaceutical products so these validation procedures validation techniques and the validation of analytical procedures enables the consistent quality and safety of the pharmaceutical products scope of the ich guideline q2 r1 it is for the active ingredients apis drug substances finished formulations intermediates and applicable to all types of pharmaceutical testing and quality control so this is regarding the scope of the ich q2 what are the key principles of analytical procedures validation it involves analytical procedure validation for confirming methods meet quality standards method development and method optimization so that it ensures the method is effective and efficient system suitability testing it is the principle of guideline system suitability testing involves checking the equipment and environment for reliable results quality control and assurance it ensures product consistency over the time coming to the validation parameters so as you might be aware about the specificity linearity and range accuracy and precision detection and quantitation limits robustness and system suitability these are the validation parameters specificity it distinguishes analyte from other compounds that means if you prove the specificity that means your method can distinguish the analyte from the other components linearity and range it means accuracy across different concentrations accuracy and precision it it involves reliability of repeated measurements detection and quantitation limits sensitivity of the method robustness method stability under varying conditions system suitability ensuring equipment readiness so these are the validation parameters once again i i will repeat it like a specificity linearity and range accuracy and precision detection and quantitation limits robustness and system suitability so these are the validation parameters stages of validation so it involves method development and optimization initial setup and refinement method validation confirming compliance with validation parameters ongoing method verification periodic reassessment to maintain the standards these are the three main stages of validation then coming to the documentation requirement for validation so it start from the protocol validation protocol is prepared with detailed validation plan validation report is prepared which involves summary of the findings and conclusion then analytical procedure documentation which involves comprehensive record of the method regulatory requirements so many uh, guidelines you can apply here there are guidelines available from the fda us fda Euro european union japan and ich so these guidelines are the documents for regulatory requirements coming to the best practices for validation so what are the necessary steps to be kept in mind for validation of the analytical procedures so these are 
consult regulatory guidelines know the regulatory guidelines for validation align with the fda europe japanese requirement and other country specific requirements like requirements from envisa and other countries develop comprehensive validation protocols so detailed plan for each validation should be there ensure statistical validity so confirm reliability through statistical analysis then document and justify results so keep clear records of all the findings so that you will have a document for justification of the results ICH Q2 guideline documents Q2 R1 and Q2 R2 these are the two documents Q2 R1 it is a text and methodology for validation procedures and Q2 R2 it is extension and updates to Q2 R1 related ICH guidelines for this Q2 ICH guideline are Q3 Q3A Q3B and Q6A ICH Q3A is for impurities in new drug substances ICH Q3B is for impurities in new drug products ICH Q6A is for test procedures and acceptance criteria for specifications so these are the related guidelines for the ICH Q2 R1 validation of analytical procedures now coming to the summary points of this presentation and video is ICH Q2 R1 guideline ensures accuracy precision and consistency compliance with guidelines support global acceptance of analytical methods documentation and adherence to best practices to ensure ongoing product quality these are the summary points also i will suggest you to go through the complete guideline of ICH Q2 R1 validation of analytical procedures and make your own notes so those points will help you whenever you are asked regarding the validation of analytical procedures this video will help you to have overview of the ICH Q2 R1 guideline so this is regarding the overview and brief points for ICH Q2 guideline. Let's meet you soon with such kind of informative videos. Thank you.